good morning everyone so today we are going to discuss independence number as well as dominance number so we start with the click number so we say that for a simple graph g a click is a subgraph that is complete so any complete subgraph is a click and we are looking for the click of the maximum size so it is denoted as click number which is denoted as omega g so click number maximum size click of any graph let us consider the following example so in this example you can see that we have k4 k3 k4 k5 this means that k5 is the maximum size click and therefore omega g is equal to 5 independent set so in today's class we are going to discuss invariants which are associated with vertices in later classes we will discuss some invariants which are associated with edge set so a subset of vertices is independent if no pair of vertices of s in the given graph are adjacent let me give you an example so here you can see that a C so this is A this is C F G and J so if you see these five vertices they are independent of each other because they are nowhere adjacent to any one of them in the given graph so this is the independent set now recall the graph coloring and do you see any relation between graph coloring and an independent set? Especially the vertex coloring. So if you recall the vertex coloring, then no two adjacent vertices have the same color. It means if the vertices have the same color, they are non-adjacent, which means that all the vertices with same color always forms an independent set. Next is the maximal independent set. So we say that a set is maximal independent if it does not have a super set which is independent or it is not a proper subset of any independent set. Okay. So maximality we have already discussed. Let's see some examples also. Which of the following sets are MIS? So MIS represent maximal independent set. The first one is a then c it's already marked f g j so you can see that in the first case a has these neighbors then g has neighbor d f has neighbor i g has neighbor e and c has neighbor h and none of them are independent uh, sorry all or this set is independent and it's maximal because you cannot there does not exist an extra vertex which can be added to this independent set because all the vertices are already covered as neighbors similarly if you try for a d h f it comes out to be maximal independent set but when you see a h g then this you will find the vertex f which can be added to this set and that's why this is not maximal independent set now a set is maximum if no other independent set has more vertices than this set so this is a very interesting example of maximal independent set having only one vertex and for the same graph, the maximum independent set has four vertices. Now we can define the independence number. So independence number, remember the notations. So click number was omega g. Independence number is always alpha g. Is the number of the vertices in a maximum sized independent set. Let's see some example. Please do try by yourself also. So what is alpha g for the given graph so here you can observe that if i 
consider B, then C, they are independent, then F, then E, they are independent, all four, then H, all five are independent, and then J. So we can easily find these six vertices which are independent, and therefore alpha G is equal to six. One more example. So quickly compute the independence number and again we will observe that it is coming out to be 6. Now what is the independence number of a bipartite graph? Any bipartite graph can we generalize what would be the independence number of this bipartite graph? So very interesting. Generally we have that perception that if m and n are the size of the bipartite graph then minimum of m n or maximum of m n but actually it is at least the maximum of m comma n so this can be observed here you can see that its size is 4 partite set and partite set size x is 4 y is 4 but the independent size is 6 because if you take the maximum then they all are always independent of each other but other than that there could be more vertices so for example in this case you can see there are total six vertices which is forming an independent set the next concept is domination of vertices so we say that a subset of vertices is a dominating set if that set and all of its neighbors or if set along with all of its neighbors gives you or forms the complete vertex set. So if every vertex in vertex set is either in D or it is adjacent to a vertex in D. Okay, so you can see here that if these three red vertices are there, then the remaining three vertices are adjacent to one of the at least one of the red vertices and similarly you can see the dominating sets here also and then in this case we can see that if we see the complete vertex set it itself is a dominating set so that's why we always look for minimum dominating set so we first talk about the minimal so minimal means that it does not contain a dominating set of vertices yes and then the minimum can be defined and based on this the cardinality of a minimum dominating set gives you a domination number which is denoted as gamma g so quickly try to compute the domination number for this graph you can observe here that if you choose 1 8 and 9 then 2 is neighbor of 1, 6 is neighbor of 1, 5 is neighbor of 1, 10 is neighbor of 9, 7 is neighbor of 8, 3 and 4 are neighbor of 8 and 9 respectively. So that's why 189 is the minimum dominating set. You cannot find a set of size 2 which is dominating. Again quickly try to find its domination number but at the same time it's an interesting exercise to compute all minimum dominating sets so you can observe here that the domination number comes out to be 3 and i found that there are at least 8 minimum dominating set please do verify by yourself very interesting exercise <laughs> Now quickly try to compute the domination number for Peterson graph as well as complete bipartite graph. First think of complete bipartite graph. So for example K23. So if you see K23 for any complete bipartite graph you pick one vertex from this side and these two vertices. So they are more than enough or you can pick one vertex from one set and the one vertex from the other set because they are adjacent to all the vertices of the other set and that's why for the complete bipartite graph it's two so i can choose this vertex and then i can choose this vertex 
so it is covering all of its neighbors on the other side and it is covering all the neighbors on this side for the peterson graph i believe you must have found it by yourself it comes out to be 3 so it is shown by these three red vertices now think that what is the relation between independence number and domination number very interesting thing to observe and by many examples you can observe that gamma g is less than equal to alpha g but why is it so it's a one line answer but a thinking is required so it is because every maximal independent set is a dominating set yes if set is let's say there is a graph with 10 vertices where the maximal independent set is 1 2 3 it means that this 1 2 3 vertices are adjacent to all the remaining one of or all the remaining seven vertices are adjacent to one of these three vertices that's why it's maximal otherwise it is not maximal it means that it is a dominating set because this set along with its neighbors gives you the vertex set so since every maximal independent set gives you a dominating set so in this side you will look for the maximum on this side you look for the minimum or you can say that mis the size of mis is always less than equal to the maximum one and this is the minimum dominating you pick so that's why we can conclude that gamma g is always less than equal to alpha g in the next class we will look for some more interesting invariants thank you very much